congratulations on innovation of the year. Let's talk about that product. You're a marketing technology company, but you look to stand out in what's certainly a crowded area. Uh, so talk about your platform. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. Um, so as Scott McCorkle mentioned on stage tonight, uh, data science is now predicting the future. And really that sums up what we're doing uh, in a nutshell. Um, so we're using dynamic graph theory, algebraic topology, natural, lang natural language processing, um, and how those theories mix together. And these are theories that uh, um, have been around since the 60s and, and even as recent as seven to 10 years ago. And just um, probably just in the five to seven year ago mark, were we able to even use these theories in a commercial environment um, due to computational power and, and database structures now allowed to be possible. So, so what is this allowing for your clients that has not been previously available to them? Absolutely, a great question. So um, marketers are now being charged today with revenue. They're responsible for revenue growth. And the difficulty is they don't have a tool or a platform out there um, that can allow them to be responsible for revenue growth. And so we are focused on, we say there's, there's two types of marketers. You're either creative or you're data driven, which, which is focused on revenue growth. And you can't make somebody creative because you either are or you are not. But we can automate the data driven piece uh, to allow a marketer to know exactly what they should do next to drive qualified traffic and in, in ultimately revenue. What has been the response, because certainly a lot of this would be new to your clients, uh, what, what has been the response? The response we most often hear is, I didn't even know this was possible. Um, and I think it's, it's uh, we've worked very hard to make the platform work in an automated fashion, so that when we go into a customer, um, we can literally load their ecosystem um, before we walk in the door and actually bring data to the table and show them exactly across digital channels where they're winning, losing, and, and missing opportunities. And is this, uh, I, I would assume, a technology that is evolving and you know, is, is going to be, add, uh, be able to add even more data, more formulas? Yeah, absolutely. So we are, right now we look at a site, all the sites that impact those sites, and, and we keep going out to a third order of, of magnitude degree away from somebody's website. And at that point, we look at, um, we can see exactly how many sites actually impact a business. Most businesses look at their analytics platforms and they believe that four to 500 uh, other sites impact their site online. We know that it's actually tens of thousands. So an, an average business probably has 50,000 other sites that impact their business, but they have no idea which ones. Um, and so, the, the evolution of the platform would be when we start to bring in offline data, for example, so point of sale information or billboards or TV commercials, radio commercials, those types of things and overlay the client's data onto our data for even more insights.